Hey guys, Phil here, and this is a review of Tautronics dashboard camera, model number TTCD05. You'll get the camera, a 32GB micro SD card, an SD card adapter, a suction cup mount, a 32 inch mini USB cable, an 11.5 foot car charger, and an instruction manual. The length of the car charger cable allows you to run the wire around your windshield to your cigarette lighter so it won't hang down in front of you. However, because it's a dedicated cigarette lighter plug, if you only have one cigarette port in your car, you won't be able to charge your other devices while this is operating. The camera measures 4 inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches by half an inch thick. It has a generous viewing screen of 2.5 by 1 and a half inches. There are a number of ports on this camera. On the left side is a mini HDMI port so you can output video recordings to a TV or monitor. On the top left is the charging port, which is mini USB. In the center is a mounting bracket for the suction cup. And to the right, you have an AV output and a GPS input. The optional GPS function allows you to attach GPS coordinates to your videos. The micro SD card goes into the slot on the right hand side. On the bottom, you have the microphone, speaker, and reset button. The LCD has six buttons. This is the power button. Then there's the menu button. And finally, the mode button. These buttons allow you to scroll up and down through menu options or select them. The camera has an internal battery and can be used when it is not plugged in. This is useful because it can be used as a still camera so you can take pictures of damage to your car or the scene of an accident. However, the camera has no internal memory, so you must insert the micro SD card into the camera in order to operate it. When you turn your unit on, it will start recording right away. You will be able to tell by the blinking red dot on the screen, or by the blinking blue LED on the side. Don't forget to remove the plastic film on the lens, otherwise you will have blurry or slightly cloudy images. The menu button allows you to change certain features like video resolution, the length of the loop recording, each video clip can be set to 2, 3, or 5 minutes in length, motion activation, various power on and off options, and whether or not the camera is set to record audio. Note that the unit beeps every time you select an option. You can go ahead and turn that off in the settings. You can also zoom in on the video while you're recording and get a close-up of basically just the center of the camera. You can get up to 8 times zoom. Here's how you touch the camera to the mount. Stick the tab into the bracket here and slide it to the left. To lock it, flip the lever on the suction cup to create a firm grip. The mount attaches easily to the windshield and stays put, even in hot and cold weather. You can swivel and rotate the camera to point it in the desired direction. You can see the video is quite clear, and there's a little bit of distortion at the edges. They look a little curved inward due to the wide angle lens, but it's more useful to see more picture than it is to have a square image. Within a few car lengths, you can definitely read the license plate of the car in front of you. The video is also pretty clear at night. One nice feature is that when the camera is plugged into the cigarette lighter port, when you start the car, the camera boots up right away and immediately starts recording video. When the car is turned off, the video recording stops and the camera powers down. I found that a full 5 minute clip takes up about half a gigabyte, so on a 32 gigabyte card that's about 5 hours of recording. There's a screensaver setting so the screen isn't always on while you're driving. The camera has a G-Shock sensor that would detect when it thinks an accident has occurred based on the amount of force of a bump. It will lock the video clip so it won't get recorded over. For example, if I shake this really hard, it'll lock the video. I found that the G-Shock sensor is really sensitive on its highest setting. Basically every video was locked, and the card ran out of memory after a while. So I keep this setting on medium and only a handful of videos get locked, which I can review and later unlock and delete manually. The mode button allows you to change into still camera mode so you can take photos. You can get pictures up to 12 megapixels in resolution. The next mode is review mode so you can watch the videos or view the images on the device. There are two ways to get the videos and images off this unit. You can remove the memory card and use a memory card reader, or you can plug the unit into your computer using the USB cable and retrieve the files that way. However, when I tried to plug the camera into my Windows 8 machine, the USB driver failed to load, so I had to use a card reader instead. Overall, this camera gets you a bunch of really nice features at this price point, and I think the only thing the camera might be missing is the speedometer so you know how fast you're going at the time of an accident. Otherwise, it's a solid camera, and though it's not as compact as other cameras, what you get in exchange is a generous viewing screen. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.